In the first match of the Euro Cup on Wednesday, Portugal defeated Denmark by 3-2. Pepe shot the first goal for Portugal in the 25th minute. Portugal have three points after beating Denmark, who also have three points, 3-2 three in the earlier group game. Now Pepe headed the Canto in the lead from the corner, Helda Postiga put them in further control with a confident finish from close range. However, Denmark's Nicholas Brenta on his 50th appearance nodded one back for his side. Four minutes before half time. He got another one back through uh, a header. Nine minutes, just nine minutes before the end. Portugal made things difficult for themselves, most notably Cristiano Ronaldo, who spurned two one-on-one -on -one opportunities. But Velera's sublime 87th minute strike saved them the blushes as he put Portugal level on three points with the Danes. Mario Gomez gave Netherlands a lesson in finishing as Germany left their bitter rivals on the brink of an early exit from Euro 2012. The Bayern Munich striker turned sharply and slotted home a pass before lashing out a brilliant second from the right. Robin, uh, Robin van Spest, who had wasted a golden chance to put the Dutch ahead, gave them hope with a fine strike on the 73rd minute. But Germany held on to cement their place in the quarterfinals. While the Germans just need one point from their last game to reach the last eight, the Dutch face a monumental task. They must first beat Portugal on Sunday, then hope that Germany beat Denmark and ensure that they finish with a better goal difference than Portugal and the Danes. UEFA had a busy day. They handed out a huge 120,000 euro fine to the Russian Football Union for the unruly behavior of their fans during their first game against the Czech Republic. Um, they threw some flares on the pitch, also displayed some illicit banners. As a result of that, they've also been handed a uh, suspended six-point penalty for Euro 2016 qualifiers. Uh, and if there are any more violations, that uh, penalty will be activated. Here in Warsaw, it was calm in the aftermath of the clashes which occurred on Tuesday before the match between Poland and Russia. So no new arrests or injuries to report.